<laughs> Those who work together suffer together. I mean. <laughs>
great new firebrand for in the Path of Fire that and they cover different areas. Um, and not one we don't necessarily want it to be the case that you this firebrand is just an upgrade in power. And so we wanna we wanna make sure that like, you know, it fits thematically and it's powerful and it feels like it is like it is strong and capable and in the ways that it needs to be. Yeah, we, we sought to basically make sure that the elite specializations were balanced against the previous elite specializations because you're swapping between them. Those that's right. a big choice. So they should feel like similar in power levels, but they should be offering different things. They're called specializations because you do particular specialties with each of them. Did, were there any weapons that you wanted, like you really wanted this class to have this weapon, but it, you had to decide on another one? You know, we were, I would say that we, there are a lot of weapons that we we really had planned and we were excited about. So, for example, I would say the, the Weaver's up. The Weaver for the Elementalist has a sword, and it is, you know, we had been planning on that for a very long time. We were, we're very excited to bring it into existence. Like yeah. the rifle for the thief is was one that we wanted to do for a long time. The sword for the Ellie, same mm -hmm. thing. Um, it came as a bit of a surprise to me that the, the torch worked as well as it did for the Necromancer. Just like it fit the themes very well. Same with the axe for the Guardian. Like uh, it informed kind of the way that we wanted to, them to play. We like, did. Um, we, we, like every elite specialization goes through iteration. So yeah, we we were we had tested things out, and you know, and then in the end, I feel like we ended up with definitely the best themed weapons that we possibly could for these new elite specializations. Were you guys involved in naming the new elite specs? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> that was fun discussion time. Yep. Um, <laughs> some of them came along easier than others. Yeah. But. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like to point out the Mirage one where like we, we were in a room and someone said Mirage and then discussion was just over. That was yeah. it. The, we, Similar, we knew what it was going to be called. For similarly, the Scourge just came very easily. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, we, we knew for some of them. Other ones, I think Hollowsmith, for example, is very was a much more complicated one. We went, we went through, we had a lot of meetings about that one. Yeah. Um, Soul Beast as well. We yes. had a lot of meetings to try and figure out a name that kind of encompassed what these classes were. We wanted the names to both tell you something about the profession, like specifically what they did. Like you, you should get a pretty good idea when you hear Soul Beast of what it's going to do, or Hollow Smith of what it's going to do. Um, and at the same time, sound really cool. You don't want to be like, hi, my profession is, you know, clown face or something like that. That would just be ridiculous. <laughs> so you want, you want to sound like, hey, my, my name is badass Mc, 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 uh, McFace Puncher. Sure. As far as development, which was the the most difficult one to complete? Ooh, that's a tough uh, one. I mean, like time wise, or engineer, soul beast. Uh, yeah, well, I think I think it depends what you're asking. Um, as far as uh, development of ideas, I think Hollowsmith is one of the hardest ones. If you're talking development of skills um, and just. Yeah. It's brute force work. That was either the soul, the soul beast or, or, the or the weaver, just because yeah. they have a ton of yeah, skills. An absolute plethora. They got like what, fifty plus skills that they're gaining yeah. each. So it's kind of just ridiculous. And some of them felt, took a little longer to find the theme. And, and once the theme was found, then it was like it was great. Yeah. Well, to, to wrap up here, what is each yeah. of your personal favorite new elite spec? Oh, that's a cruel question. <laughs> that's a very cruel question. Or are they all your I think babies? They're all our babies. Yeah. Uh, that, we'll go with that answer. <laughs> you know, particularly excited to see it in play, uh, I'd say the Scourge, losing that death shroud, like losing, like, that's a gigantic amount of health. You're just lopping off there and saying, I'm going to spread my my plague, my Scourge outward, and I'm going to support my allies and kill my enemies through this life force that I'm seeding into the land. Yeah, I think, I think favorites are something that kind of can change while you're developing too. I mean, while I, I, I mean, I can tell you that, you know, back even back in Heart of Thorns when I was working on Reaper, um, I played a lot more Necromancer, and I found that uh, during development of, um, you know, like the spell, the Spellbreaker, for example, I played a lot more Warrior. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was developing the uh, Dead Eye, I played a lot more Thief. You kind of like whatever you're working on right now is your favorite for me. Yeah, I think, like, I'm pretty sure we all have an eighty in every profession. Yeah, and so we spend a bunch of time playing. Yeah, whatever played, we're working on. I've been playing a lot of elementalists. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I've uh, spent way more time know, on Necromancer than I have 
prior to any of this. Yeah. Um, so well, thank you so much for all of the work that you guys do. I loved what I saw. I loved what I played, and I'm really excited for the players to get their hands on it. We are excited. Yeah. For, for we feel the same way. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you.